Right now, a next weather alert. This is Salisbury Beach, where the spring storm created a huge wave, sending the tide right into a home. And strong winds took down trees across the region, including this one right here near a home in Walpole. Now to Boston's north end, where a tree came down on Snow Hill Street. It smashed the windshield of a parked car nearby. And in parts of New Hampshire, it looked like winter never left. Dover saw several inches of snow this morning, and this storm system isn't done with us just yet. All right, you hear that? That's the wind whipping in Quincy as the waves splashed over the seawall near the Marymount neighborhood. Coastal flood flooding is a big worry today. WBZ's Christina Rex is live in Salisbury Beach. Christina, this has already been such a brutal winter for that shoreline, Christina. It absolutely has, Tiffany, and you can probably tell the wind is coming directly this way. We didn't really know what to expect until we got up here. The wind is brutal, and I know Levin Reed was live here earlier when the concern was really the flooding as the ocean came over, you know, during that high tide when it came in. We want to show you what's left behind now that that, pardon me, that flooding part is over. First of all, ocean debris, okay, literally like planks of ocean wood or beachfront uh, wood that is ripped off all along this area. Part of Route 1A, which is this area behind me, is closed off because there's still flooding concerns here as the wind just whipped brutally. Take a look over here. A couple hours after high tide, right? High tide was just before 8 a.m., so we're what, four, four hours later now? Look at this sea foam that is everywhere. And it was even bigger, it's still receding. If you take a look at this building over here, the ice cream shop. Thank you, my photographer is so helpful, Terry, with this. You can see along the building here, it's just debris. The foam has gotten the dirt everywhere. It's all over the ground. There's bits and pieces of things that just came out from the ocean, washed along here. And, and as you mentioned, this isn't the first time. This has been a recurring issue here in this area uh, over the course of this winter, coming into spring now. We're gonna head back to where it's a little bit safer and less windy. I did talk to some business owners and they actually say they're still gonna open up. They've been through this enough times at this point this winter. They can't keep closing shop when the weather is tough, so they're still going to open up. We're going to spend some time talking to them soon. We should bring you their stories later tonight. But, wow, just a brutal, brutal day out here uh, in Salisbury. So bring you all those stories, including those from business owners who decided to still open their doors tonight later on WBZ. For now, live in Salisbury, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Yeah, Christina, take cover because I saw that wind whipping that sea foam there. Thank you. Now, down trees and power lines have created dangerous conditions. WBZ's Penny Commit is in Haverhill, where some of those roads are closed off. What's it looking like out there, Penny? This is the scene all throughout the city of Haverhill. Roads closed and downed power lines, all because of the heavy gusts of wind we've seen throughout the town. Haverhill police tell us that the heavy winds knocked down a tree which hit the power lines on its way down the intense wind, taking crews extra long to fix this problem. Wind has been the culprit of several issues across Haverhill during this April nor'easter. For most of the morning, the town saw a consistent wind gusts of 42 miles an hour. At its peak, wind blew through Haverhill at 70 miles an hour, leading to situations like these, down power lines laying in the middle of the road. And by the end of the morning, nearly 2,000 Haverhill customers were without power, according to the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency. Haverhill Public Schools were also on a two hour delay today as crews work to clean up these very wet and slushy roads. In Haverhill, I'm Penny Commit, WBZ News. Penny, thank you. Down power lines were also an issue in Hubbardston. This is Barry Road, and at one point, more than 150,000 customers in New Hampshire and more than 30,000 in Massachusetts lost power. And take a look at this scene in Ipswich. Fire and police in Ipswich rescued someone out of their car stuck on the flooded causeway. And emergency crews are reminding everyone not to drive through any flooded roads. They say not only does that put crews in danger, it can also total your vehicle. Now, in New Hampshire, slick roads caused big issues in Warner, west of Concord. A fully loaded tractor trailer rolled over on I-89 South. The truck was hauling shingles, which spilled all over the road there. Cleanup took several hours. State police cited the driver, saying they were driving too fast for the road conditions.